Hi there guys, so this is an updated video to the last video I made on how to install and use WP Coding standards uh, in the VS Code editor. But this time I wanted to show you a few other things and then the things I thought uh, that could have been added in that video. But uh, this is the stuff I have learned over the years and uh, let's have that update here. So uh, I'm going to go through uh, the PHP CS and then installing the WordPress coding standards and then and the second part will cover how to use them in the PHP Storm IDE and then the VS Code editor. So I assume um, you have PHP installed and Composer installed along with it. And I am using uh, PHP 8.0 right now. And I also use PHP Mon. Um, it's a tool um, and then you, it just helps me uh, basically use multiple versions of PHP and then switch between them throughout. So I am currently set to php 8.0 let me turn on my terminal uh, if you were to take a look here all right see i'm on php 8.0 so let's get to it let's install php cs first uh let me check it's not here right when you see yeah it's not here right the command is not here all right so the first step is to install it uh, we are going to be installing it globally and then so why globally is because when you install these coding standards globally and the packages uh, it is available to all of your projects uh, given when you have it globally you have the uh, you have it at one place and then once whenever you have an uh, update to a package suppose you have an update to the wordpress coding standards and then you want to update it but uh, if you have it at per project you would have to update it and every other project. So having it globally helps in maintaining um, only just one uh, composer script and then yeah, just using that throughout your projects. But then you also have that freedom to install it per project. Just don't use global and then it will be installed per project, right? So just follow along. So I'm just gonna global composer require this. I'm just gonna copy this command over here. Okay, so this asked us to uh, rerun the command with dev because it's a dev dependency. See, it knew that, uh, right? So that's a good thing. You do say yes to that. And then once we have that installed, we will have our PHP CS available to the, um, in the command line. But uh, remember, uh, you won't, you might not have it by default um, available as a global package like this. I mean, uh, it is a global package, but not available to run via like this, you know, directly. Uh, so you would need to add the composer vendor pin uh, directly in your path. So how you do that is basically by updating your path variables with the composer vendor pin directory. So I know so that uh, in the global uh, composer script, it is available at dot composer and then vendor bin right so i just need to add this folder into the path variables how you do that in in most cases if you're using mac os you will have bash rc so i have bash rc but i'm also using a, a plugin called uh, um, z shell so the configuration file is dot z s h r c if we were to take a look here it is so all you need to add is this export path and then the updated path variable i'll also copy paste this in the video description so you can just copy paste it right so let's clear that out once you have that you will have phpcs available like this okay so the next step is to install our wordpress coding standards Again, like we did Composer Global Require, we'll also have to do the same thing here. We'll just do Composer Global Require and then Dev. We'll now have this, you copy this WP Coding Standards and then this and then hit. Okay, so it's installed. But now if you were to see uh, the coding standards available to us, as you can see, it's still not here, the coding standards, which we just installed WordPress coding standards. So Basically, it's not automatically registered for you with the PHP CS script. So you would have to set the configuration via using this PHP CS config set installed paths and then the absolute path to your WPCS um, directory. 
but you can totally skip that we are just installing this php code sniffer composer installer uh, so let's just install that and it will automatically register our coding standards uh, with the PHP CS. So you just need to paste this and then make sure to use the global command. Okay, so it will ask you to whether you want to execute this code and then enable it in the plugins, the composer plugins. So you just say yes. And as you can see, it is automatically installed our coding standards into the php cs path right so if you were to now check our php cs let me clear this terminal php cs if you were to check the php cs uh, configurations you will see the wordpress coding standards available here so this is as simple as that so we're ready with our coding standards now we just need to use uh need to just take a look at how to use them in the code editors right so i'm just gonna wait this and I'm going to open the PHP Storm. What you would need to do is go into the PHP Storm settings. And then you make sure you have your PHP um, bins available to you. Here, like this, in the three interpreters, you have your PHP configured in the PHP Storm. And in the quality tools in PHP, you need to go into this PHP code sniffer uh, directory. Uh, so by the way, you will also need, I suppose, PHP. Um, I think it's available by default, but just in case, let's just check. Um, I think yeah, it's available by default. I don't remember it installing. Uh, yeah, I think it's available by default. PHP quality tools, um, and then in this PHP code sniffer, you just need to go into this. Uh, click on this three dots. And then in the configuration, you just uh, need to add your, in, you will only have the system PHP available to you. And then you can either just simply paste the PHP CS directory, uh, such as since we installed it in vendor, the global package, we, we know that it will be available to us via um, this, the composer vendor bin PHP CS, right? So you have to validate it, it should be there. It should say here, okay, PHP code sniffer, and then the version you have installed, available. And then the same should go here. Just, you just need to say PHP CBS. Right? Ah, uh, yeah. So the secondary uh, thing you can do, because this system PHP is not, uh, I don't think it's saved uh, in for every project. So it, it vanishes, it flushed, it gets flushed away with uh, every other project. So what you can do is click on this plus button and then select your interpreter from here. So I have three PHP versions installed uh, and uh, I can select either of them. I want to create uh, a PHP course like a configuration for. So as you can see, I have already created one for PHP 8.0. Uh, so let me just remove this, for example. Let me just delete it and let me create one again in PHP code sniffer and then 8.0. And all I need to just do the same thing, basically. Uh, I will just look for the vendor bin directory and then the PHP CS. So this PHP CS, CS uh, path, uh, right? And is unable to open that. For some reason, any vendor bin. We will do the same thing for CBF. For some reason, it's unable to open it. Let's just open that again and run it. Okay, yeah, I thought there was some error. All right, or you can also just do this. Uh, I think this will work the same way, uh, I suppose, because once you have that available via globally, you can simply run it just like that. If you don't have that available globally in your path variable, you will need to have the absolute path um, select it when you apply and hit OK. Um, be there. All right. So I think it's not taking in like that, but know this: you can do this always, and this will work as you would expect. Vendor bin, uh, and then the PHP CS file, and then PHP CF in the PHP CS. Hit apply OK, and then it should be there. Uh, you might not see this. At first, these coding standards in the updated coding standard, but once you 
enable this basically you just enable this and then hit apply you will also need to uh, select the external formatters to php code uh, beautifier and fixer that is cbf uh, and then hit ok and then once you go back you will likely see this coding standards list updated and then you can select the wordpress coding standards as you would expect right and make sure you have this enabled and then the configuration set to the one you have just created so once this we created and that's the interpreter to that right and if you were to go to the go to any plugin file or theme file and maybe make a coding standard error like this i am using spaces now that we know the wordpress coding standard don't use spaces and then they use tabs you will see this warning here and then the code beautifier fix available as well so you when you click this it will automatically get removed and everything will be set to the standards or if the php codes beautifier is unable to fix it for you it will just show you the um, uh, warning so there are only few things that it can't fix because uh, that could be a complex scenario um uh, yeah so there's that and you can also set it to uh, format automatically so if you want to do that you can do that let me just quit this now so that's how to do that in PHP Storm. Now let's take a look in Visual Studio Code. Okay, let me let me open a WordPress uh, project. We'll run the same project we had open earlier. Right, so in Visual Studio Code, you will need to install the PHP CS and PHP CVF extension because that is required here. It doesn't come with it um, by default. Um, so yeah, PHP CVF uh, by Paris or David Lind. I will link this in the video description. And uh, PHP CS, I suppose. I think mean, that comes with PHP CS. Uh, yeah, so you will only need to have this PHP CVF and it will do it for you. You don't need to uh, have the PHP CS uh, extension installed separately, I think, because it is not uh, induced here, so it should work fine. Uh, so let's uh, make sure that you have installed this PHP CVF um, extension. I might be wrong about the PHP CS part, but uh, you can check that out. If the PHP CS isn't working for you, um, you can install a separate extension for PHP CS and then configure that. But in most cases, this should work for everything. I am mostly using PHP Storm, so that's why I haven't much experience with this one. But I know so that it works. I have used it in the past. Okay, so uh, imagine you have it installed and then the extension settings are available here, the configuration. Let's go to the settings. And then let's take a look at, sure. So as you can see here, I have set the PHP uh, file extension default formatter to just VS, VS Code PHP CVF, the extension name. Um, I will maybe add a gist link in the video description so that you can copy and paste these. So the PHP CVF executable path, as you can see, I have just uh, entered the name of PHP CVF instead of the whole path because as you saw that I have added it in the global variables, so I can just use it as is. If you, if you haven't, you can uh, mention the whole paths like we did in the um, PHP Storm, right? So composer vendor bin that is, and then the path, yeah. So there's that. And um, uh, the PHP CVF standard uh, document formatting provider, it is also set as that. And then there's also this on safe property. I think when you set that, it will automatically format uh, for you. I have to go here and then maybe let's try to make a mistake. Should show us the warnings. Um, value below is uh, right. And it's not working. Okay, I think you will need to have the PHP CS uh, extension enabled. I'm just going to enable that and let's go here. All right. Yeah, it is working. I think. Yeah. PHP CS. Whitespace found at the line end of line. 
extension is PHP CS uh, by Shevua. I will also link this down in the uh, video description. And again, you can find the same uh, configuration in this uh, extensions page, or I will link that down in the um, just I mentioned. Right, so that will also need to be configured the same way we did PHP CVF. So PHP CS, PHP CS, uh, where are you PHP CS? Here it is, PHP CS standard. So it's just as that. Uh, strangely, it uh, manages everything automatically. So yeah, PHP CS standard, that's the only thing that it needed. And then it has that automatically installed. If you were to uh, format document now, right click and then format document, okay, we'll use uh, PHP CVF and format it for you, I suppose. Let's try that. Let's try to remove a tab and then use spaces. It should get uh, replaced with tabs. Yeah, it is working. So that's that's it, guys. Uh, that is how you can use uh, WordPress coding standards globally. And then even if you want to use per project, you can just install them without using the global commands. And then that will be that. And you just saw how to uh, install and use them in the code editors. Thank you for watching this video. Um, have a great day. And uh, if you like this video, please do subscribe and like the video for the algorithm, I suppose, because um, I do want this channel to grow. Um, thank you again.